So hey there guys and welcome to the next part of Siberia with me Supernautus. Uh, last time out we arrived at this spaceport with uh, a drunken ex, maybe not astronaut, but this guy here who was quite drunk and no help to us at all. However, what we found out is that he has like this, oh look he has like a spaceship there. Can we use that? I don't know. Let's take a walk over this way. See what we can find. Okay, there's some birds up there. A lot of birds up there. Really quite a few. What are the, what's that they're next to? Oh, it looks like like a, an airship type thing. You didn't have to climb those stairs either. I need a key. Well, let's see if our mate has a key then. If our pal there has a key, maybe he does. Hopefully he does at least. And then we'll be okay. This is such a long walk to get from there to there, like it takes so long. But we're going to do it. We're going to make it. Right, there he is. Let's talk to him. See what he can tell us. Sir? Sir. Oh, he's got a sore head. You can... I'll stop talking to you once you tell me about this airship. No idea. Uh, hasn't used it in quite some time. And then I've got to learn how to use it too. You won't have any worries there. It has an automatic pilot. Okay. Go visit if you want. Here's the key. Ah. Uh -huh. A key. Excellent. Right. Let's let's see if that is what we needed. Right. I'm off. See you later. Don't you worry about me. Okay. I'll try not to. So okay, so we're not we're not going to get to use that uh, interesting looking spacecraft there, that red thing in the middle, that's sitting on the launcher, ready to go. But we may be able to use this airship. I guess that's better than nothing, right? So we're doing that so that we can get to this uh, Arlbad place. Uh, where the singer supposedly moved to that the director of this I don't know what it is former mining place wants before she, he'll give me Oscar's hands back so we can get the train moving again doesn't look like that works okay so we're not going to be getting out that way then at least not now, not right away. Maybe, uh, maybe there's something else we need to do first, I guess. But what could that be? I just don't know. Let's have a look around at the other side of this place, because there was another path. You know, obviously this big round kind of area. We can go over to the left here and see what uh, see if there's anything interesting over there. Some kind of lifting mechanism for a capsule, by the look of things. Oh, oh, there's Boris, our pal Boris. So this is like the spaceport, I guess. Let's see what he can say. Let's see what he can do for us. Autopilot mechanism, but the airship still won't take off. Do you know why? Mm, nope. Maybe he's got an idea. I've got a, some idea. Okay. But you look like you're a bit of a mechanic. Let's just say that since the start of the journey, I've managed to get by yeah. and get to know how. <laughs> that would be about right, wouldn't it? Contraptions. Okay. I have a deal to make with you. Okay. 
I've been living in this dumb launcher site for years. Wait, he wants to go to space? And I've always said that one of these days I'm on a ship that's been lying around for years. And I better make that trip before Vodka sues me. Has he been keeping it in good condition? I never know how it works. And you look like you might have some clue about it. I mean, she doesn't look like an astronaut, though, does she? I'll tell you how the airship works. What do you say? We got a deal. Why don't you tell me about it now? I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, well, let's take a look. So he wants to go to the stars. That looks like some kind of uh, mission control type area up there. So let's have a look. Let's see if there's anything there. That's useful. Well, what do we have here? So we've got, oh, we've got another one of those clockwork keys. And it looks like it goes there. So let's just see if we can get in there. Aha. Looks like stuff's on. What's this? Hmm. Okay. So there was two lines there that weren't connected to anything. Uh, can I push this up? Let's turn that on. Um, let's see. What else is around? Has that done anything for us? What's this? Blood sample required. Right. So what exactly do we do? What do we do with that? So we need, we need to take a blood test. Is there any way for us to do that? Is there some kind of mechanism, some kind of equipment that will let us do that? I don't see anything. Is there something for us to take with the... One sec. Right, let's uh, see. So this thing here, maybe that's... What is that? That's a blood testing apparatus. Okay, well, let's... Do you think that... Do you think that it'll accept a blood sample from Boris? Do you think it will? I mean, he's been spending years just drinking vodka all the time. Well, let's find out, just for fun. Let's find out. I think we already know that it's not going to accept him if we have to take a clean blood sample. Well, let's see. Comrade Boris, I need a few drops of your blood. Excuse me? To get the centrifuge going, we'll need to hmm. analyze the pirate's blood. If you're going to the stars, you've got to be in good health, you see? Yeah. That's why I need a blood sample. It won't hurt. There's two things that It'll also reject him from, from ever getting to do anything. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll only be needing your blood. Yeah, he doesn't need to do the other My thing. Pleasure, okay, so we're taking a sample. Testing his... Uh, Ow. Extremely intoxicated blood. To see if he can go to space. What do you think the... Uh, what do you think the response is going to be? I say, please do not pour vodka into the blood sample container. I mean, you know. But yeah, it'll say we wanted a sample of blood, not vodka. Well, let's see. I guess we do that and then press this. Blood sample refused, alcohol level too high. And what, does it then just dissolve the blood? Maybe... Maybe I can sample it on myself? Yeah, okay, there we go. Now try it. 
looks like that test has been successful. Alright, what's this do? Alright, there we go. That's the capsule. Okay. Let me have a look. Let's do this one. Okay. I think I figured out how it works. Get settled in and let's go. Okay, so Boris is inside. Oh, I don't think he's feeling very well. Are you all right? I don't think he's feeling very well. He's a professional pilot, but he's not an astronaut. Or, given he's Russian, a cosmonaut, rather. So, okay. Um... Oh, I see him. Look, he's walking across that bridge. There he is. Just about to climb into the vessel. Miss Walker. Come in, Miss Walker. Are you receiving me? I am receiving you, yes. Uh, where's Mog? Can you speak up? <laughs> I'm ready. Press the launch button. Okay, so he's ready to launch. Okay, there's your countdown. Takeoff procedure engaged. Countdown commencing. Colonel, you've forgotten to Yeah, what do I do with the airship? Of the airship. What do I have to do? Yeah, come on. The airship will need to be cranked up. Needs to be cranked up. Is there a crank that we need for it? I mean, Ten, nine, eight, oh, there he goes, Luke. Six, Thumbs five, up, he's ready to launch. Four, three, two, and it'll five, fly up in the air and then just crash to the ground, probably. He's got to go to space all on his own. There he goes. And that flying wing. Well, he's gone. I guess we don't have to worry about him anymore. Because he's gone. Off into the stars. Oh, I think we're going the wrong way, actually. Although, it was like a circular room, so surely... Whichever way I go, I should be able to get back to the same place I was at before. Well, who knows? Anyway, well, something's on the ground there that wasn't there before. Let's go pick that up. I didn't see anything to crank up the ship. On the airship platform. There was literally just the airship door. Maybe there's something here we can use. There was nothing inside his little capsule either think here. Let me just see. Wait a minute. What was... Is there anything inside his little... Not in his capsule, but in the area around it? I'll go up the stairs. <laughs> Please. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Back down we go then. But there were some steps at the back of this, whatever this is. Is this another rocket? There's some steps around behind it. So maybe... Maybe we can go up there? What's this? 
Oh, what's that? There's like some kind of horn with a red handle hole, with a red crank hole in it. I'm going to assume that's what this is for. Does this scare off the birds? Is that what that's for, to get rid of the birds? Wait, is that the mechanical eagle he was talking about? It looks very real. It just looks like a real eagle. It really does. That's more of those damned cuckoos by the look of things. That we got rid of in the other place. Okay, well I think we're done. I think we're ready to fly. I think. Let's find out. Let's go back to the uh, back to the airship and we'll see. Can't fly when it's uh, got loads of horrible birds all over it. I just mean that those birds are horrible, not necessarily all birds. Settle down. Right, so airship, and then we go to this spa for rich Soviet people, I guess. I mean, what would you call them? Generals and ambassadors and the upper classes, I guess. Right, let's see, where are we going? For now, because there's no birds clambering all over this, hopefully we can go through. Aha! Looks like we're ready to go. It's got the propeller running. Oh, it disconnected itself. Doesn't look like doesn't look in the greatest of conditions, but you know. Right, so we're looking for this Arlbad place. Where this singer should be. Probably be told, you're not authorized to be here. Ah, this place looks, well, potentially like where we need to be. It's like a dry, well, I was going to say, oh no, there is water. Must be just low tide. Then again, these boats could be beached as well. That's also possible. So here we are. We've arrived at what I assume is Arrowbad. Let's find out. What is here? It's surrounded by a wall. Yeah, it even has a lashing point for this airship. I guess because this is the thing they use to transport people there. Oh, we got a phone call. Hello? Doing Kate, I wanted updates. I wanted results. Yeah, I'm in the middle of Mr. Martin. We all do. We're down on the ground. We're doing all we can, but there's no new development. Yeah, I can't give you an update if there's nothing to update you with. Can't buy the company until I find the person to buy it off. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Yeah. Lockdown, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to wonder why. Well, you know what? Mr. Marson, why don't you come here and do it yourself? Hot. I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really Yeah, it's not. Take. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. You want something concrete. I want something concrete, something solid. I want 
This guy is an absolute douche. Why are we still why are we working for this guy? Like seriously, why is she working for this guy? Oh, there's a fountain there. I wonder if Hans Vorlberg had anything so to do with it. Beautiful. Probably not. It looks like a naked person on the top of it. Let's go see what's happening in here. Who's this guy? Good morning, sir. Good day, dear madam, and welcome to the hotel. The hotel Kronsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left to receive you. I can't offer better. I see. Oh, well, actually, I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbag. I see. It's like that then. Uh, tell me, what can I do for you? I am looking for. Um, I want to meet someone who lives here. Yeah. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers. None of the customers are expecting anyone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to um. Ain't. Impromptu visits of any Tom, Dick, or Harry. He sounds quite posh, and then he uses Please, the word ain't. I absolutely must speak with him. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was, had to do was ring the hotel. I didn't know the number. Ain't again. He's not going to talk to me. If I could have called, I would have called. Yeah. I couldn't. <laughs> so please, can you? Could have, would have, should have. You know. Just a little, sir. Ma'am, in this hotel, you don't bring nothing for no one. I think he's just uh, putting on that accent, isn't he? Because bend nothing for no one. I don't. I don't think that's right. Somehow. Well, he's not going to help me. At your service. But maybe we can find a way to find to speak to her anyway. Let's try going this way. Well, apparently, I'm going that way then. Okay, we've got a gate there and this door. Now, apparently he doesn't mind me going in here. What have we got anyway? What's that? Looks like some sort of cleaning supplies. Detergent. Okay. Oh, someone scored, scored a goal. I think we're done with that. Maybe we can do something to distract him. Hey, what if I put the detergent in the fountain outside so it's all bubbly? And then and let him see it. Oh, those curtains were, it looked like we could interact with the curtains. So yeah, I think this might be the route we want to take. Drop some detergent in the fountain so that it bubbles over. Keep the window shut, curtain shut when we're doing it so he doesn't see us doing it. There we go, look, it's a nice bubble bath now. Let's see. Let's see, can we open these curtains? There we go. Automated curtains, you see. Let's talk to our buddy here. Sir? Oh, he's not going to talk to us. Well, let's ring the bell then. Get his attention. <whistles> Oi, get up, you. Here he comes. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I what? Maybe I want to be a customer now. To... What's he gonna do? But what the hell's going on over there? Why <laughs> did me get hell to pay when there's already too much work? <laughs> uh, he's annoyed now by the fountain. He's just ignored me. But maybe we can go and look at his. Ah. Oh, where's he going? 
Got to go get the cleaning supplies. It's going to take him a while. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be a while. A very long time. Look at it, he's cleaning. So maybe we could go in and look in his look at his register. No, no. Right, there we go. I thought she was going to walk away for a minute there. See if we can find out where this guest is. Hmm. Ah, look. 5-6-1981. Helena Romanski. Resident. Resident code? 1210? 1210? Oh, no. 1270. Okay, 1270. And, uh... Anyone else of interest? Oh, three two nineteen eighty one Hans Vorlberg. He was a resident until three two nineteen eighty five. As you can see, Helen Romanski hasn't left. Uh, he was a resident until nineteen eighty five with code fourteen seventy eight. Well, that's interesting, and that's just more that I don't need to see. I can see there's other people. What else do we have? What's that? Ednor Hotels, the Kronsky Hotel. The Ednor Hotel Group is a hotel chain with a long tradition. First Ednor was opened in Paris in 1928. Or is it Ednor? I don't know. Uh, ideally located for capital city exploration. And what's that number? 46433643. I feel like, I feel like that might be important. Maybe important. I don't know. And what's this button down here? Oh, that's unlocked that gate, is it? Well, let's go then. Before that guy comes back. Although I don't think he's going to be back for a little while. We'll see. I just get the feeling he's not going to be back for a little while. Okay, let's see. Swimming pool? Oh, it's a spa, so could it be like a thermal bath? Okay. Now we've got, there's a door there. What's this bit? Nothing. Oh, we can't open that door. Let's see what else is here. What's down here? Anything worth looking at here? Well, there's like a little... Oh, we can get a glass by the look of things. Just stick it in my pocket. She's used to doing that at bars, I guess. A crystal dish, in fact. A crystal dish. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see what's this way. There's a looks like a lounge of some kind. I think. Okay, what do we have? There's a, there's a wheelchair thing over there. Look, it's an automaton. Hello there. Well, that pushes a wheelchair. Okay. Does he look like it? James. His name's James. I am not a barman. I'm sorry, okay. I, I didn't want to upset you. Yeah, I didn't mean to upset you. Look at all those drinks. I would be skeptic if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms of your <laughs> I have to be rigorous in terms. Um I'm looking for Madame Romanski. 
She's on the pier. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. Yeah, he can't go out because it'll Well I'm going I guess destroy his uh It would be a pleasure to see you again. Well I wonder actually. Hello there. He seems like a Vorlberg automaton. Let's see if he knows anything Have about him. Have you ever heard of a Mr. Vorlberg? The name is not entirely foreign to me. Yeah, he knows him. Do you know he knows him. Vorlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madam has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. Oh, we're not allowed to mention his name. Nostalgia, sadness, meditation. Call it what you will and will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madam would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Mum's the word. Or something. Well, I'm going then. It would be a pleasure to see you again. Okay. So he can't tell me anything, but he kind of did because he told me that she does know what Hans Vorlberg. Uh, let's have a look and see. Well, that looks like that would get us. I think I saw the pier out of the window behind him. So what was this? And what was her code? Twelve seventy. Work. That didn't work. Just as I said. Well, maybe we can find another code. Let's go back out here. See if there's anything useful here. Uh, what else was there here? There was this door on this side. Wait, that's open now. Someone's gone through that door. Oh, something on the floor. What's that? What is that? Prompts go tell. Access card. Temporary code 0968. Well, I wonder if that code's any use for that door. Let's find out. If that's the code we need to get out of here. Okay. Let's see. 0968 and pull the handle that sounded more like it the door's open well let's go then is this a gas is that a gas mask Wait, I have to put a gas mask on to go outside? Okay, so when he was talking about the salt wind, he obviously meant there was something quite bad here. Okay. What was that? There was something we could look at there. What was it? Let's go so far, considering that we only... What is that? Looks like you could hang something on there. I don't know what that is, but it looks like you could hang something on it. Let's continue down the pier. Continue down the pier. Okay. Let's see where she is. Oh look, there's the, the lady on the uh what's this like a gazebo? This must be her then. Madam Romansky? Madam Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I want to talk to you personally. I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Markovitz. <laughs> Markovitz. The old stuff of a gun. 
I'm new one or two for it. Uh, possibly at some point soon. Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American. A lawyer. And why are you here? What do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. You could say that, yeah. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left... Later, my dear. Later. I should have come. No, I need... Maybe I could talk to her inside. Okay, so she wants us to get James to come and see her. Oh, here comes the manager. Oh, this guy's a pain as well, isn't he? Managed to manage to lie her way in here. No, it didn't. <laughs> there we go. This woman's my guest. We're fine now. I wish she'd stop using the word ain't. When he sounds posh. Do you have any proof that it was me? You know, did, did he see me damaging the fountain? I don't think he did. How dare he make such an accusation? Okay. Okay then. There we go. Let's go out of here. What's that? Oh, that must be what that other thing is. Look, there's a bell there. I wonder. I wonder if that's to summon her pal James. Let's take this uh, bell and try it on that other one that we saw, just out of interest. I feel like that bell must be something that will bring him in. Let's try it. It says it's James's bell. Is he going to come? I just want to see uh, the fullness of different places does anything. Uh, it's the same noise regardless. He doesn't appear to be coming. Let's go and see. Let's go and see where James is then. And why he's... Why he's there. Why he's not come. Why has he not come for her? I have to put my gas mask back first. Because of the salt air, apparently. He's not moved. I want to speak to him and find out why he's not come. I'm assuming that bell. It said it was James's bell, so... 
Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. Wait, what? The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy. It's very windy outside. Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madeline doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection. His insides don't like the salty winds. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that? Oh no, because it'll be his joints that are the problem. Certainly. Well, there you go. The mask's there now. Looks like that's all he needed. He needed the mask. I don't know. I don't know how. He's away. Oh, another phone call. No doubt from someone else that's an idiot. <laughs> so, have you met her yet? This Helena person. What was she like? Does she remember Frank? She remembers him as a person, yeah. I met her and, yeah, she's living in Arlbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too. So, what's Arlbad like? Maybe Frank can take you It's, um... It's this seaside resort mob, but it isn't what it used to be. Yeah, it's got toxic <laughs> winds and... <laughs> apparently. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? Not yet, no. Not really, Ma. I still haven't found the air I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romanski's a kind of detour here. Mm -hmm. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden. Why don't I just come home? Why don't you just come home? Tell your boss this air. Well, because then that what would stop them buying the factory? And then what kind of legal issues would that cause? Don't get involved. Looking for Hans Bob. If they just took the factory. But I also just want to find him for myself. Just as stubborn as your father. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't well, they can't just have the factory. Doesn't work like that. Surely. Okay, so let's chat with our friend Helena. See what she's got to say. I guess I've got to do it from behind the bar. It's a real honor to meet you, Madame Romanski. People have told me so much about you. Mm. People still talk about me. They do. People still talk about her. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Greatest singer of the century? Oh, I was indeed. But surely you didn't consider the good of the past. I kind of. Like I said, I'm a lawyer, and to tell you the truth, I don't know much about classical music. But after talking to Mr. Borodin and Mr. Markovic... I bet she doesn't know who Borodin is. I want to hear you. Oh, you are two great people. Ten years too late. You can always give Frank... She's angry about Frank going to America. Oh, I am so angry with him for leaving like that for me. Don't be offended, but I never suspected those two cowboys... <laughs> ...an ear for real music. Do they? I don't, I don't know. think he sings much anymore. The odd gala, the odd charity event, and yet... He sends his love. Oh, his love. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> there is someone who still loves me on the other side of the... Apparently. Earth. There's someone that still loves you here, too. This guy that this stole my automaton's hands. What is his name? Borodin? Do I know him? Yes. We once sang in Contact Jazz. He remembers you. Incredible recital, if the director's account is anything to go by. If you only knew how moved he still is. He is. He's another one I still adore, dear. I must confess that being one of my greatest admirers once more was too wonderful okay. for me, but... <sighs> Her voice isn't any good anymore. Uh. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment. And because of it, I met a certain Mr. Yeah, he wants to hear you sing. Director of the Compulsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Yeah. Oh, I remember that city. Oh, a sad city indeed. All the cities were sad. They all were. Mm. Madame Romanski, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him, well, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my God. There we go. I have not sung for years. A singing's not going to be a thing. My voice is a 
Unless there's some way to make her better. Well, her heart's faded. Hmm. Is something I do with the past. Is there any way that we could make her sing now? Madam Ormaster, please understand I would never have come so far to disturb you if I didn't really need your help. I understand, my dear, but my health is failing me, as does my voice. Believe me. Of course she's sad. I mean it's the only thing that that she had at that one at one time, wasn't it? Impression that Hans Wahlberg yeah, he did. Here too. You know Hans Wahlberg? I'm aware of him. Not exactly. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance mess. But I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail. And I guess he's... Kind he's of kind of a close friend. friend. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I knew Hans Wahlberg. Do you hear him? Well, we're not sure. Oh, he has stood the chance to meet him. What shall I tell you, sir? Not Who sure. Siberia. So, madam, that one is not without certain complications. Yeah, mainly that nobody knows where he is. I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission, to find Hans Wahlberg. Hmm. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Tonkalsnow. Yeah. And you cannot find him without the train? No. The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. Yeah, it's going to take me directly to where he is. But the two of them are going to leave me for him. Did you hear that, Bing? I might see Hans again. <laughs> she might see him again? It's been so long of missing him. She can kill him. Oh, if only I could Wait, what's this about a cocktail? If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. The one that only he knew how to make. one that he knew how to make. Wouldn't I, Bing? Yes, madam. As you have frequently said, oh. without that famous cocktail, why would her, sure why would her tour have been cancelled? I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was the she lost her voice. It was terribly cold and damp. And, and what, this drink helped? That evening at the opera. But since the morning, I have lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with it. Yeah. I don't know how George... Barbara at the Muritz Hotel. That sounds familiar. What was that? There was that list of hotels, wasn't there? But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. Oh, that sounds good. That's just what we need. It is. It is what we need, but... my dear child. It is impossible. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loves to keep well, it's not going to hurt if someone in the middle of it Russia knows it, is it? Absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> well, I'm going to get George to tell me. We haven't <laughs> yet met with my powers of persuasion. Okay. I'll let you get a bit of rest. It was a real pleasure, my dear. Let's just check something. I've got a feeling. The hotel brochure. How did I look at it? Oh, look, it's there. I consult the brochure. I look. Paris. The Mur Muritz. Muritz. And there's a number over at 464-33643. I wonder if that's a phone number. Let's find out. What was it? Four, six, four, three, three, six, four, three. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> damn. I have to do it again. Four, three, three, six, four, three. Press send, not the arrow. Hotel Moritz? Reception here, can I help you? 
I'd like to talk to you, Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. He is. I'll get Mickey to the bar. Just a moment. Is he still there, do you think? How many years ago was this? Oh, we've got some nice elevator music here. Hi. I'd like to talk to George, please. Uh, George? You mean Mr. George? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, he must have been a barman yeah. at the Marine Think about that for a minute. We're in, like, the 90s. Don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. And he was a barman in the 50s. I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a, it's matter, a matter of life and death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see, old George, now you knew a lot of... A lot of Americans working at these Parisian hotels. He did write down his recipe before he left, but if you could tell me which one you were looking for exactly... Um... I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Terrace Kitchen Shuffle, the Deep Blue Secret, Boco Boco, Blue Helena... Blue, Blue Helena. Helena? Helena, yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Let's Blue see. Helena, you say. Let's see. One measure of vodka, He's pronouncing it wrong of on purpose. Russell, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and iced tea. Shake it all together and bob your uncle. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Must be most helpful. Be most helpful to me. Right, okay. Well, that kind of helps, but... I say kind of because... What's this? Something we can look at down here. What do we have? We've got a lemon. What's that? Honey? I think it's honey because I had a picture of a bee. Yeah, crystallized honey. Okay. Well, we're going to need to... We're going to need to get that to not be crystallized then, aren't we? Now, there was a thermal pool there. What I assume was like a spa type pool. Um, out here wasn't there that, that kind of hot tub type thing. So maybe I can get the honey to be a bit more useful by going over there. Making her drink might be the last thing we do because it might take a while. I mean, I don't know. But let's find out. Oh my goodness, there's two men in the pool now. I didn't need to see that. Yeah, let's try this. Is that enough? Doesn't look like that works. Oh, maybe it's not. There's a... Maybe it's not hot enough. There's a wheel there. Does that increase the temperature, maybe? Oh, that looks like it's doing something. That's doing something. Okay, so we got that, and we have to make her drink. Now, I'll just be one moment, guys. I'll just back in a sec.
sorry about that. Uh, let's get back to it. So what were we doing? Uh, we got the honey. And it's now in a liquid form, so it'll actually be useful. Okay. Let's see what we can do next. Still got to make this drink. Okay. Let's see what we got. Go behind this bar. See how it works. Let's see what have we got. Okay, looks like we've got some kind of piano. <laughs> it's interesting. What's that? So can we use the lemon there? Can we pop the lemon here? Oh wait, look there. There's a juicer thing. Um. And what about the honey? Can that go somewhere? Well, I can go in that, whatever that's for. Uh, what else do we have? What's this? Okay. So we got some um, musical notes. We got like, what's that? Bass and a treble clef. So that kind of tells me where the stuff is, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, but the, the one that was for vodka was empty. And that is required. Luckily we stole that guy's bottle before. Um, right, what we got? In out. I assume that's turned that on. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I don't know what that does. What's that for? Hmm. Can we do anything with this? Did that do anything? I don't need to put the glass anywhere. I think I've done this wrong. How do I clear it? Oh. Can I clear that? How do you? I feel like I need to start again. What have I done there? That's not the drink. I know that's not the drink because I did it wrong. I know that I knew that wasn't what it was because I totally didn't understand how this machine works. Okay, let's see. So it can only go one way or the other. So this way's that sign, and this way's that sign. If we're doing this, let's say we want that for vodka. Hmm. And if I do this, I think that'll work. see, now it said we wanted honey. Pop a bit of that in. A uh, bit of lemon. That's definitely working. Pop some ice in it. Which I guess that's what that's for. Uh, shake it up. Baby now. Twist and shout and all that kind of thing. 
I see. Is this it? Is this the right drink? Oh, there we are. She's singing now, although it says "ahu." Of what she's talking about, it sounded great. Good to be true. Roses grew Helena's powerless, in especial when the voice of an old woman. Ah, we'll see. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. She need to warm it up. Yeah. No, no, I am very grateful for all. She can't go on stage with a puny, pathetic voice. Go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. Perform it would be so cool. I would get kicked out of the room. You just got to get your confidence back, haven't you, Jamie? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are He's a sniveling <laughs> little creep. Nice. I tell you what I might do. There was a thing, used to be a thing, you know, with um, like. Op operatic singers, I guess, that they could smash a crystal glass with their voice. Maybe if she can do that, maybe she'll... My he broke the glass! She's much better now. At last! Her voice has returned. And you are not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you have fun in your home. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Is it? Okay. This place, James. What would you do there? Your fate is sealed. You must prepare my return. Mm. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionality. Maybe you're right, madam. As that her. Maybe. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Concord Grand? Of course she is. She wants someone to enjoy her singing. You're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away. I'll go back Anchors away. to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. Uh huh. James, take me to my room. I must. She prepare. must prepare. Quick. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. It's not quite the correct phrase, but it's close enough. <laughs> Step on it, of course, would be the the accurate phrase to use. But she's off, right? So we've got her. So now maybe we can get Oscar's hands back. Maybe we can get his hands back. Let's go. I guess back to our back. Excuse me, back to our airship. Can I leave? There we go. Right, let's get back to the airship. I feel like that's the best way to get out of here. And then maybe we can get on with our quest. No, two guys playing chess in the pool still. Didn't really need to see that. Anyway, let's go get the airship ready. For the journey. Let's see. But at least we got what we needed out of her. And this guy's still watching his import his uh, his important football match. I know we're running a little over the hour I was looking at normally doing, uh, but I feel like we may as well get back to um, to Comcall's grad first.
mean, when you say get the airship ready, which what which is what she did say. There's not much you need to do, is there? I mean, open the door. Oh, phone call. Hello. Hi, it's me, Olivia. Oh, it's her again. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldberg thing? Like uh, alcohol. Yeah, you drank a lot. No? Okay. What's up? Got, got your tongue? Well. <laughs> Let's find out. Tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that romance you've been? You don't think it's dragging out too long? It's taking as long as I it takes. Shut bored, up. I tell you that, but. Angel, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question. That's so unlike you. Is it? Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? No. Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. I think we knew what she was hiding in the last phone call, let's be honest. It was horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I, I can't. I keep wanting to hurl. Uh-huh. Olivia, tell me what's going on. Dan! What about him? What about Dan? Has something happened to him? Am I? Okay. What? After the Goldberg, Dan took me home. A little bit, you know, he shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nice chat with me. Uh-huh. Please, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. Please hate me. <laughs> it's all my fault. Uh-huh. I never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for a yeah. So she's got both a friend and a boyfriend who would appear to be extremely selfish. And it's all about them. It's all about her. No doubt I'll get a call from him and it'll be all about him. Look, you know. Forget over it. But you and Dan, it's it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this yeah. little bit of dota. No, you have to hate me. I'll feel so much better if I know that you hate me. No. Busy. Go away. Imagine phoning up to t t somebody who's on a really important kind of work trip to tell them this nonsense. You know? It's like, oh look, I know you're you're working really hard. Or maybe they don't think mind you, they don't seem to think she is. They seem to think she's lying about it being such a long time. Oh here she is, look, she got herself dressed up and everything. And we're ready. To land at Conkle's Grad. And let her sing a song for Borodin. Here she is, look. With the organ and everything. She is singing. Yeah. Her voice is definitely back. This organ sounds okay, I suppose. <laughs> Although I think it would sound a lot more... Given the size of it, I think it would be a lot noisier than it is. I think it would be a lot noisier than it is. What was that above her head? There was a window, but there was like 
something else. And that creepy guy's in the background, rubbing his hands. What is this? I feel like I've... I feel like this is trapped. Yeah, look, I had an audio, I had audio of this happening. Fuck, before it actually happened. It would appear that the sound is out of sync with the picture. In fact, now there's no audio at all. He's trapped her in a cage. That's what he did, he trapped her in a cage. I had to skip that because the audio was completely out of sync with the picture. But there we go. That's a good place to finish, I think. He's trapped Helena in a cage with the organist. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, we'll, we'll see more of that next time, I'm sure. Uh, let's save our game. I imagine if I'd hit load there, that would have been the most frustrating thing in the world. Save our game. And uh, that's going to be it. So thank you very much for watching uh, this part of Siberia. And we'll be back next time with some more Siberia, I'm sure. For now, though, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. Oh, yeah. And if you do like it, please feel free to hit that like button. And maybe a sub, too. Thanks for now. Goodbye.